Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Hammer's newest release, the Hammer Effect. This is a top of the line, asymmetric, go long, flip hard ball. You can see the RG kind of low, 2.47. That means it's going to rev up really easily. Uh, the differential 0 0.050, the intermediate 0 0.017. So you've got a decent flaring, really flippy ball. Now, the cool thing about this ball is the Huntsman core and the HK22 cover. The Huntsman core is a combination of the Black Widow core and the Vibe core. They kind of meshed them together. And the HK22, obviously, it's got the new Cohesion Pearl additive. And that's going to, according to Hammer, make the ball grip in the oil a little better, but still flip really well. You can see I laid mine out pretty standard, nothing fancy, 50 by 5 and 3 16 by 35. Pin above the bridge, mass bias kicked out a little bit. And there's my stats, so let's take it out to the lanes and take a look. Okay, so we're here at Strikers Lanes down in Sunrise, Florida, and we're bowling on the normal house shot, and I'm going to start off playing the third arrow. By the way, let me know if you like this new split screen thing I'm doing. Uh, I thought I'd give it a shot and try it out. Um, let me know in the comments below if you like it. And uh, so the first thing I noticed about this ball is the big flip on the back end. Um, that's kind of the big selling point of the new uh, cohesion uh, additive to the HK22 cover. Now, obviously, HK22 has been pretty successful uh, for all the brands of Brunswick. And uh, what they're doing is they're kind of customizing it with different additives. And Hammer and Brunswick in general is really big on this new cohesion additive. Um, they say that it helps the ball grip a little bit more in the oil without sacrificing any uh, of the back end movement. And you can see that's uh, kind of true. I was able to play in the puddle of oil in the middle pretty easily. Um, obviously, it's not a dull ball. Uh, it's not going to hook in a huge amount of oil. But uh, for any reasonable uh, amount of oil, the kind you'd see on a normal house shot, uh, this ball is pretty good. So you can see up at the top the three balls that I'm comparing, uh, the three balls that I'm using, the two I'm comparing it to. Here's the Archetype Hybrid, and you can see it's a little slower on the back end. Um, also, you can see that it lopes down the lane a little more. It doesn't have that early revving uh, 247RG. The Archetype Hybrid is above 2.5, so it kind of lopes down the lane a little more. And uh, throwing it against the Theorem, the Theorem has that uh, lower RG also, uh, but the cover is a little cleaner. And now you're talking about the difference between a Pearl and a hybrid. So obviously the hybrid's going to be a little earlier, a little smoother on the back end. Uh, the effect just has a ton more back end explosion. There's really no way to put it. You can see the theorem's coming back. It's, it's hitting with power. It's sending pins kind of, you know, spinning around the lane, but, um, it actually took me moving, I think a board, right and maybe slowing it up a little bit uh, to get the theorem to see it in the right place uh, so that it could have enough time to hook back. So I go back to the effect and I move left a bit. And so we're going to start testing. I think I moved my feet five left and you can see the back end. It, it's there. And I'm like, okay, that, that, that flipped it 10 pin, but I can work with that. Uh, so I made a little bit of adjustment and uh, got the ball to uh, come back and see it a little better and now it's hitting more solidly so i like the uh, ability of this ball to play third arrow fourth arrow and deeper it really does grab a little bit more in the oil than a normal pearl ball uh, so that's something that would see a lot of use in tournaments and also if you've got big oiled house shots but you still don't want to use a dull ball you want to use something that flips uh, you'll probably end up using a hybrid, but now uh, you might say, oh, well, maybe I can use this Pearl because uh, Pearls usually on big volume house shots, they'll just go a little too long and maybe they'll retain a little too much energy. They'll hit the dry and they'll you'll get a bit over under. Um, the effect kind of smooths that out a little bit, but you still get kind of the back end of a Pearl um, but it sees it a little better as maybe a hybrid would. Uh, so you're kind of getting the best of both worlds. People have asked me what I would compare this ball to, and it was really difficult for me to find an answer. I actually had to go back about 20 years. If you remember, Brunswick had a ball called the Vapor Zone, and it was 
I remember it at the time because I would zones at the time were really heavy rolling. They rolled kind of early. They were really smooth. And then this vapor zone came out and like, oh, wow, this is a this is a zone that flips. And that's kind of like what this effect is. It's got that heavy rolling characteristic that you'd see in a, in a Pearl ASIM, but it really gets around the corner for a ball that sees it a little earlier than a pearl, but maybe a little later than a hybrid. It's it's kind of like if you were to make a category between pearl and hybrid, that's kind of where this ball fits in. Now you can see I, I go to the theorem and it's got the power from there again because he just, you know, sending that explosive messenger across the lane, but it just didn't hook it quite early enough. So I had to make a, a little bit of adjustment to get it there. Um, now I move in a little more with the effect. I think I moved another five left. And again, it's got that power. It sends the pin flying across the lane. You can tell I'm, I'm really wanting those messengers to hit. But uh, so it just takes a, a little bit of a move. And oh man, the messenger almost got there again. Uh, so I think what I ended up doing is I moved one board back to the right. I mean, it's still, it's a fresh house shot. I really hadn't broken it down too much. Um, so I moved maybe one board back to the right. And now I'm able to get the tens to fall, get a little uh, lucky on the four, but hey, that four should have fallen in the first place, let's be honest. Um, so what do I think about the effect? Um, this is a, if you go into the pro shop and you say, I want a ball that goes long and flips hard, usually the pro shop guy kind of rolls his eyes, but you know, like, oh, well, it's one of those. But this is that ball. Like if you want the go long flip hard ball, here it is like it, it's right there on the shelf waiting for you it looks really cool it's got that that four color mix so go and check out the hammer effect it releases this week on thursday and uh, i hope you like it as much as i did because this ball was really kind of sweet so until next time thanks to uh again my sponsors genesis bowling track bowling and strikers lanes uh being really good to me and letting me do these videos thanks very much and we'll see you next time